Hello and welcome. Uh, this is just a pickup video of a couple movies, game, and uh, some Hot Wheels that I <coughs> got uh, over this weekend. Uh, start with the, picked up at uh, Five Below uh, PS3 Ghost Recon. Uh, I already had it for uh, Xbox 360, but. I'm not too worried about double dipping for five dollars for another game. And uh, Friday I picked up at Walmart Cannonball Run on Blu-ray for five. I haven't seen this in quite a long time. And I also picked up at Walmart for $5 is the 1966 Batman movie. I already had it on DVD, but for $5 to upgrade it to Blu-ray. And I'm pretty sure it's got a few uh, special features that I, I didn't, weren't on the DVD. I mean, one uh, says there's a commentary by Lorenzo Semple Jr., which uh, the screenwriter... So, I mean, there's a few few things that weren't listed on the DVD. Uh, yeah. Disc. And now, onto the Hot Wheels that I found today. Uh, Ram 1500. This is a nice big truck here. I actually was surprised with this. I like the, uh, the artwork on it. found uh, UNSC Warthog in green. I didn't, uh, I have one in black. I didn't have the green one, so I'll grab that one. Yeah. Part of Halo. Xbox game. And I grabbed uh, Mountain Mauler. I really like the way that car looks. I think the the white colors for and side ripper I've been meaning to pick this up because it's basically I guess like a motorcycle with a sidecar you got the two little guys in there and every time I found it it was the car that was either tore up real bad finally kind of dove in on that uh, Chevy Silverado it was a nice big pickup truck on that and we got fig rig See special features. You can put little stunt people on here. I don't, I don't know if that was something that uh, they uh, Hot Wheels produced or not. I've seen like the skateboard and the guy hanging on the shopping cart, but <laughs> those haven't really interested me a whole lot. But the truck looked nice, so I went for that one. Another truck, 19 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT. Enjoy that one. New 2018. No sunroof in there. Got uh, 67 Chevy C10 in purple. Kind of like a low rider. Got the big uh, uh, fenders for the modified. Uh, 
68 Dodge Dart in the flames. Kind of like a lot of these uh, cars that have the flames on them. Kept seeing this one, I kept passing on it, but I actually like the body style. Uh, Howlin' Heat. I really kind of like the, uh, the design, the artwork on it. Good. Front have teeth and kind of the side side teeth on it. We got the '64 Lincoln Continental. Little ride, a lot of little artwork. I'm guessing there was a line of these that would spell Hot Wheels, since this one's got a W on top of the roof. Doubt I will find all of those. But that one looks nice. Grabbed a Lamborghini Viano in uh, green. I like this one. I don't like some of the other ones that they've been doing that they, they seem really kind of tall and thick. They don't really look like Lamborghinis like, like this one does. Should be a low profile, not a big buff car. But uh, I grabbed one of these for my brother. I found two of those. Then I had gotten another Lamborghini Huracan LP 620-2 Super Trofeo. Again, the body's low, lower. <clears throat> it's not as beefy. I don't get too many exotic cars, but as long as they look more realistic, I'll get them. Got the 15 Jaguar F-Type Project 7 convertible. I don't know what all this, got a couple cars in it. It's just got this big white dot on the side. I don't know. If that's supposed to really mean something. I I don't think I'd like that on my own personal car. A big white dot. And it's got a big white dot back here. If anybody knows why that some of these cars are just white dots, uh, please leave a comment and let me know. Uh, I'd seen this one and I, uh, not a whole lot, but I've seen it recently, so I grabbed it. Uh, Bubblematic. It, it flips up so you can actually use it like as a bubble blower. Just thought it was kind of cool. A little unique. The design's pretty cool. This one was kind of weird looking. I like the, the box, uh, the backboard on it. I like the design and uh, the Chinese. It's a uh, Turbo Rooster. I like, I like this. It's got some uh, Chinese writing on it. So. A little extra heavy on the chrome, but it kind of reminds me a little bit like a, of an airplane. Uh, wing, wings and stuff. I don't mind having some uh, kind of unique looking ones as well. Picked up two more of the uh, 50th cars. Uh, 70 Pontiac Firebird. I didn't have this one yet. I don't know if I'll be able to find all of these or not. I haven't really been picking them all up. I've been basically grabbing uh, the cars that I like. I liked uh, the hood style with the, uh, the engine poking out there. I like the fact that all the uh, rims on uh, these are 50th. And I did pick up uh, another 50th for my brother. I found him the uh, the bone shaker. I already had it. And this one was Dune Daddy. This is the first time I've seen this one. So you kind of like that Dune Buggy style. 
This, I think, could have looked a little better. The uh, spare tire on the top, it looks like clear plastic instead of like a tire. I think they could have painted that, but uh, overall, I like this one. I mean, that's like the only thing I've, I'm not fond of. But. And then the last car I did pick up, I've seen for a, a little bit, but I kept kind of blowing off. Found out today that these were only available at Walmart, is uh, the Mopar series. This is the 70 Dodge Challenger RT. I think this one looks fantastic. Nice, nice, nice paint job. Like the engine poking out of it. The only other one I'm interested in that I still have not seen in any Walmart is the 70 Dodge Power Wagon, which the bunch of the different vehicles that they have the eight. The others look pretty good, but I'm trying to keep myself down. Um, I was at four different Walmarts today trying to find um, the, the first car from the Mystery Series 3. Two of the stores didn't even have, one didn't have any mystery cars. One only had Series 2 left. Um, another one I went to had uh, two boxes that had already been picked through. There wasn't any special vehicles in it. And uh, another one had four boxes. So some scumbag is going and taking every special vehicle out of four cases. I mean, I'm looking for one. That's all I'm looking for. I already got the rest of the cars for the set, so that's kind of always disappointing that some of these people just hoard stuff for themselves and are trying to just make a, a dollar. I mean, it's, it's not right. Shh. It's not right for everybody else who are actually trying to just get stuff. I always hated that with video game consoles, too. People just start marking them up thinking they have a ton of them. But... Thanks for watching, and I'll get back as soon as I can.